guys so it is time for november beauty obsessions i have a lot of things to talk about a lot of new things and some old favorites so i hope you guys will grab a drink and a snack because this will be a little bit longer usually my monthly beauty obsessions are a little bit longer than the rest of my videos so hopefully that's okay with you guys because i got i got a lot of stuff here a lot of stuff. Quickly, I wanted to mention I did film a tutorial for this look. It might already be up. If it is, I will link the tutorial down below. It is a holiday look using affordable makeup. And if it's not up yet, it will be up soon, I promise. <laughs> I have my little snowman in the background today. They're going to hang out with us and chill in the background. Alright, I don't even know where to start, but I'm going to start with highlighters because I have so many highlighter favorites. The first one here... Oh my god, you guys, this is probably the most amazing highlighter palette I have ever used in my life. This is from Sleek. This is part of their holiday collection. It's their highlighting palette. It's called Solstice. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if this is limited edition or not, but if it is, girl, you better order this thing. I think it's only like $13. And you get four different colors. You get two cream highlighters and then you get two powder highlighters. When you layer these together, you are going to get the most intense highlighter ever. These are just so pigmented. If you missed my sleek haul where I swatched everything, <gasps> these are the powder ones. Do you see? Oh my god. Um, one of them is like a pinky toned highlight and the other one is like a rose gold champagne. I am wearing this champagne gold one today. I don't know how, I hope you can see it because it just gives your skin the most insane glow. Uh, I, I look ridiculous doing this, but I want you guys to see uh, that glow. It is just, these are just so intense and pigmented. Packaging is amazing, formula is amazing. Unfortunately, there is mineral oil in this, but I don't even care. I've been wearing it. If I break out, oh well, because this is that amazing. Continuing on with Sleek, I've been just falling in love with their products. This is the Sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator. This is in the color Casablanca. <laughs> I like the names of these. Now this is more of a pinky toned highlighter. It has a pump. It's in a nice glass bottle. I have been loving this. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably have seen me use it a couple times. But it just comes out like this and it's this beautiful gel. It's like a gel. It's very cooling. It's a gel formula. It's like this beautiful shimmery pink color. This does come in other colors. I really, really want to get the silver one. Yes. Oh my god. They have a silver one. I'm saving up a little bit of money and I'm going to get the silver one. I do recommend setting this with a highlighter powder over top. That way you set it into place because this isn't like extremely long wearing. It can like smear off. But if you set it with a powder, it's fine. It lasts all day um, and has not broken me out. Thank God. And then the last highlighter here is another sort of liquid illuminating liquid highlighter. This is from Hard Candy. This is part of their Glow All The Way line, but this is a sheer glow. It is new. It does say new on there. It's called Blushing Babe. It's a soft glow illuminator with 24 karat gold. I've been really loving to just pat this on with my fingertips and then set it with one of the hard candy where is it this one in three times a lady oh my god the highlighter in here combined with this oh, it does have a pinkish tint to it but it's still very flattering i think on fair skin so there's just a look at that color there oh my god and this is a lot thicker than the Sleek Illuminator. I kind of prefer the formula of the Sleek one because it's more lightweight. It's more of a gel. This is more of a cream. It's thicker and it's not sticky or anything, but it does... I Again, I like to set this with a powder highlighter. So since we're talking about the face, let's just continue with that. I have been loving this foundation. I pulled it out again because as soon as like the cold weather starts, my skin is so dry so this is the flower it's called about face foundation that's what it's called I just call it their liquid foundation it comes in a pump and it's in a glass bottle I'm in the shade LF1 I've mentioned this so many times fell in love with it again it is so hydrating and just gives a natural healthy 
look to your skin like it looks like skin it doesn't look like makeup so i have been loving this i've been wearing it a lot lately i love it it's great if you have dry skin and you're looking for something that's just a great everyday foundation it has really good coverage you can build it up to get about a good medium almost full coverage and to apply foundation i have been using the beauty blender yes i finally am trying out the beauty blender and this guy here is a little dirty because i use it today to put on my i'm wearing the wet n wild cover all foundation for a more full coverage for this look I did but um, so far I really do like it I really like the texture comparing this to like the real technique sponge this does have more of a bouncy very light like it's very lightweight type of feel the only thing is that every time I wash it the pink dye starts coming out let me know like leave a comment down below is that normal <laughs> anyway so far I really do like it it blends makeup very nicely I mean you know I think it's definitely worth the money I like it all right, the next product here is also for the face. This I have been using nonstop, and I'm really considering getting a full size. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I've had this sample for so long, and I still have so much left. Like, there's so much product in here, and a little bit goes a long way. This is a really nice translucent powder, and I know there's a lot of affordable translucent powders out there, but there's just something about this. It works with my skin. It doesn't make my skin look dry or weird, and there's really good ingredients in here, and I can't explain it, but I feel like this actually makes my skin look better. It actually makes my makeup last longer, I just love this. This is like a holy grail powder for me. So really quickly I want to mention a few like skincare type products that I've been loving. This right here was in one of my Pettivore boxes. It's the Nubian Heritage Mango Butter infused with Shea Oil and Vitamin C. It's rejuvenating, firming, and moisturizing. This was a huge like full size product that came in one of my Pettivore boxes and I love this. It is like a solid and then it turns into like a warm oil. Oh my god, you guys, this smells so good. I can't get enough of this. It smells like an orangeicle cream pop. I love it. It's so moisturizing. It smells so good. Oh my god, every time I put this on my dog, uh, honey, she wants to lick my skin because she, she thinks it smells good too, so. Alright, and moving on to like some actual skincare for the face. I've been trying out this little travel size sample of the Andalou Naturals A Thousand Roses Beautiful Day Cream. You all know I love this line of skincare. I've done a full review and how I like to use the products. I can link that down below if you guys are interested. It's a very lightweight kind of gel formula, so it's great for daytime. I've been wearing this underneath my makeup and I love it. I want to get the full size. <laughs> and something else I've been trying out, I did place a Vitacost order. I didn't do a haul because it wasn't like anything exciting, so I don't know. <laughs> this is from Avalon Organics. I think this is my first time trying out their products. This is the Vitamin C Renewal Vi Revitalizing Eye Cream. The reviews online were so good for this. This is not extreme. This is all natural. It's organic. It's very lightweight. I think this is great for daytime and nighttime. It has a pump on here. It's relatively affordable. I did order it from Vitacost. I think I paid $14 on sale but you get one full ounce like this is a huge bottle and yeah I recommend it if you are new to eye creams try this this is great for beginners and it's also great for anyone who's just looking for a nice moisturizing eye cream right, let's talk about the eyes and brows <laughs> I have one I have one eyebrow product this I stopped using for a long time and then I recently jumped back into using it and I love it. This is from Hard Candy and it's somewhat new to their line. It's Brow Fiber Gel Plus Highlighter. So I don't really care for the highlighter side. It's like this twist up highlighter stick. It's okay but eh, I don't care about that. But the other side is the Brow Fiber Gel. It has all these tiny little fibers and it just fills in your brows. This is what I'm wearing in my brows today. Like I've been doing my brows really like natural and just keeping it natural, not doing anything crazy. So I just brush this through really heavily. And then I'll go through with a little bit of the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil just to shape a little bit. 
set it with some brow gel and that's it so that's all I have in my brows today just keeping it kind of simple and somewhat natural <laughs> this palette is amazing this is my new I can't put it down it's just amazing this is the new holiday palette from Kat Von D it's the Mavita Loca palette if you missed my review and tutorial I've already done a couple of tutorials I did a Thanksgiving look using this palette I'll put those videos down below if you're interested but this palette I love that this is like a makeup artist palette. I mean, you've got every color under the rainbow, plus your neutrals in the center, so you can really come up with so many different looks, whether you want to go for something soft with a pop of color, or you just want to go all out and do like a bubblegum pink eye like I did with this palette when I did the review. I mean, barely touching the palette, it's just an amazing eyeshadow palette and I want to do more and more looks. You guys are probably going to be sick of me using this, but it is amazing. Since we're talking about eyeshadow, my two favorite eyeshadow brushes that are fairly new. I don't think I've mentioned this one. This was from Rite Aid, you guys. Yes. This is part of their renewal collection. I had no idea that Rite Aid had cruelty-free brushes, but they do. And so I just, on a whim, picked one up for like five bucks. And this is their blending crease eye brush. It is so nice and fluffy and so stinking soft. It just blends product so amazingly. I used it today. Go over and check out their brushes because they are really nice and soft and really good quality. I've been using this constantly and it's held up its shape really love it really recommend it another brush that I picked up this is part of the wet n wild brush line yes wet n wild came out with some brushes and this is their eye blending brush there's no actual name it just says wet n wild on the handle it's a really big brush and it's kind of flat on the side there but then it's kind of rounded at the top and it's definitely very it's very thick it's very dense I love packing on shadow all over my lid when I'm setting my eyeshadow primer it's great for blending product in the crease all right let's talk about lips because you all know I love lipstick and I have so many new things here that I've been loving and trying out of course I'm gonna mention this this is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca holiday lipstick set I did a review already if you guys want to check it out I think this would make such a great holiday gift you get seven little mini lipsticks and you get a full size limited edition one. So it's a great way to try out a brand if you've never tried out, you know, their lipsticks. So love this. And my favorite ones that I've been loving the most out of that set, I have here Coven and Wolf's Mouth. Wolf's Mouth, oh my gosh, I dropped it so it's kind of a little beat up. But <laughs> they come in these little teeny lipsticks and they're just so, so cute. This is such a nice dark sort of vampy satin like burgundy color I just love it so much I've been wearing it a lot her lipsticks are really creamy they're pigmented they're long wearing as well and they smell amazing oh my god they smell really sweet like vanilla sugar and coven is just that beautiful matte lavender I just love purple. I know lavender looks really bad on a lot of people and it probably looks bad on me but I don't care because I love purple. <laughs> I love purple lipstick but this is so creamy and opaque. Beautiful beautiful color and oh god they smell so good. Moving on I have some more new lippies that I've been trying out. These are the Too Faced Melted Liquid Long Wearing Lipsticks. I know everyone has been raving about these and I was dying to try them out. And I have these three colors here. I've got Melted Nude, Melted Peony, and Melted Fig. Now these are the smaller versions, like the holiday sets that are out right now. So there's Melted Peony. Really nice everyday pink color. These are so unique. They're, they're unlike any other lip product that I've tried. They go on so smooth. They're hydrating. They don't dry out your lips. And they're so long wearing. Like they, oh, they're just opaque and amazing. And I really, really love these. So that's Melted Fig. And then this is Melted Nude. These were sent, I had a friend of mine send me a whole bunch of goodies. Bless her heart. You know who you are. <laughs> And I got to try these out and I'm so glad because 
I realized what the hype is all about. So this is Melted Nude. Unfortunately, Melted Nude looks so weird on me. Like it's too brown. You know what I mean? Like it's a little too brown for me. But overall, these are amazing. I definitely recommend trying them. All right, and then my last lipstick here that I've been loving that is new and I get to share with you guys. This is from Lip Land Cosmetics. Now, I've never heard of this brand before until now. Samantha, I'm sure all of you know who she is, Samantha from Bad Lash Beauty. She did a collaboration with this brand called Lipland Cosmetics. They are cruelty free, they are vegan as well. These are also formulated without phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfates, gluten, mineral oil, and parabens. So I love that there's no mineral oil in here. All of their lipsticks are $14.99, which actually isn't that bad. And this is the one that she did a collaboration with. I'm not sure if it's sold out yet. I'll put a link down below, but I bought this with my own money, and I'm so glad that I did. And it does say Samantha here on the side. And the name is called Cream Corset. And here is the packaging of the lipstick. It's definitely very bulky. I'm not a big fan of the plastic. It's very lightweight kind of cheap almost but the product you guys is so amazing I don't even care it says lip Land on the side here it has a little lipstick there it's just a nice matte black and it twists up really nice it goes all the way down which I do appreciate so here is what cream corset looks like oh my god I can't help it you guys I go nuts for nude lipsticks so here's what cream corset looks like this is seriously, you guys, the best nude lipstick I've ever put on the mouth. It really is amazing. I thought I was going to be disappointed because I have such a hard time finding the perfect nude for my skin tone. These smell amazing. They don't have like a sweet smell. It just smells like a really good lipstick. It is officially my favorite nude lipstick. Oh my goodness. If you guys followed me on Snapchat, you saw me unboxing it for the first time. And I put it on and I did a lip swatch for you guys. So definitely follow me on Snapchat if you're not following me. Because sometimes I'll do like swatches and stuff. This is just the perfect nude. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. I'm really curious about the brand. I want to try more of their like lipsticks. Because you all know, I'm a lipstick junkie. I can't help it. So love all of these lip products guys so last but definitely not least I wanted to mention quite a few nail products some nail polishes here that I've been so obsessed with and loving if you follow me on Instagram you probably have seen all of these on my nails but I wanted to mention these two guys here because they're more of like treatment products I ordered these off of a website called iKate house if you guys remember a long time ago I hauled these and this is the LA Girl Calcium Nail Builder for Thick Healthy Nails. And I've been really loving this as kind of like a base for my polish. So I'll put a layer of this on and then I'll do a layer of this. This is the Hydrating Base Coat. It claims to hydrate brittle, brittle nails and regulates nail growth. So I've definitely seen a really good improvement with my nails. It leaves almost like this gel, almost sticky texture. So then when you go over with your polish, I feel like it adheres a little bit better than it used to. So I have been really loving these. They're both affordable. I think they're only like two or three bucks. So if you can get your hands on these or order them online, I really, really like them. This one right here, you've seen me wear in a lot of my videos when I had my long claw nails. This is from e.l.f. and it's called Desert Haze. I've been wearing this so, so much. It's just a perfect nude. I'll insert some pictures as well so you guys can see. But it's just a great nude. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. And I love to put a matte top coat over top. And it just looks, oh, it just makes me so happy. I don't know. I just really love this nude. It's a great, great nude polish. And then this one is another one of my holy grail favorite nail polishes ever. It's called Mod Mauve. And if you love those mauve pinky, rosy type colors, you are going to love this. I mean, it just looks good on so many different skin tones. I just love this. This right here is new. I picked this up from Rite Aid. Julie G is one of my top five favorite nail polish brands ever and this is the color universe it's spelled you like y-o-u 
color is so unique it is amazing it's this antique rustic gold but it has this flash of teal like a bluish greenish teal I've tried polishes in the past that have that flash and then when you paint it on you don't see it you only see it in the bottle but this works like you actually see it on your nails and when you like when you're in the sun or when it's kind of dark you see this flash of teal and it is so pretty this is the most unique amazing polish I just can't get enough of this like I want to go and get every single one of her polishes because they're just awesome right did you guys go get this Alright you guys, so that was it. That was everything I've been loving for November. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys have been loving. I'm always curious to see what you guys are trying out. I know this video was up a little late. I do apologize. I feel like I always get up these monthly type favorites. My beauty obsession's up late, but at least it is up, right? Right. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. All my links are down below. Go follow me if you're not following me, girlfriend, because I love talking to you guys when I'm not on YouTube. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.